Hello friends, myself Rafik Maimon and we are going to talk on the bathtub of the Nero, Emperor Nero. The Emperor Nero raised between 54 and 68 AD and was the youngest emperor of the time at a mere 17 years old. Though accounts differ about the scale of Nero's tyranny, the atmosphere of the Roman Senate was vicious and there are few who do not suspect Nero of at least several poisoning to remove rivals or interfering family members. Nero's bath bathtub was a creation of a descendants that defined the year, years he ruled. It was almost entirely made of imperial porphyry. The type of marble was highly prized at the time for several reasons. The first being the color as the purple of the marble closely resembled the color of the purple strip that marked senate, senator's robes. It was also extremely hard, only able to be shaped by the high quality steel that the Romans had and thus was prized for both structure and sculpture. The final reason was its rarity. There was only one mine in Egypt that produced imperial porphyry, which made it fantastically expensive. At 25 foot in diameter, Nero's bath was impressive. The highly polished surface and inviting smoothness speak of a charismatic emperor who was loved by the people despite his crimes. Yet when you consider the cost of the marble, the effort to haul it from Egypt, even the effort to fill it, it speaks more of ambition than cleansing. The bath is now housed in the Vatican Museum. Emperor Nero's bathtub 54 to 68 AD. It was made almost entirely from imperial porphyry, a type of marble which was extremely expensive due to its purple color, associated with noble blood and usually reserved for the emperor and hardiness. It was also incredibly rare, only being mined from a single mine in Egypt. So friends, it was a full history of the bathtub of Nero. So if you like our information or like our video, then please subscribe our channel and press bell icon for the more new updating videos and notifications. Thank you.